Hello fellas, welcome back to, yet again, another Phantom Forces video. This video is going to be a little different from the usual PF videos that I upload here on the channel. I wanted to address something about the latest test place update, which, in my opinion, is one of the most questionable updates so far. More specifically, I wanted to talk about what I believe is the most controversial change of this entire update, which I think most of you are already aware of. So, I was goofing off in the test place on one of my alt accounts when I saw that the 1000 RPM burst on the AK-12BR was completely removed. In case you're completely oblivious to this, you might be wondering, why? What was the reason behind it? They removed it for realism. Now, if you ever just so happened to consult the Phantom Forces wiki, and specifically the page regarding the AK-12BR, you might recall that the page reads as follows, quote, the AK-12BR is a fictional weapon. So now you might say, oh, that makes absolutely zero sense. Why would they try to make a fictional gun realistic? Your guess is as good as mine. It in fact makes absolutely no sense. I honestly don't see a reason as to why you would try to make Phantom Forces more realistic. I mean, come on, it's just a silly LEGO FPS game. If they really wanted to make their game more realistic, then they should make the Boxy Buster do zero damage, since Realistically speaking, I don't see how a dart made of foam would be lethal enough to kill. Better yet, if they really wanted to make their game more realistic, why not remove all fictional weapons and conversions altogether and replace them with guns that are not actually complete fabrications? I know this may sound exaggerate, but if you're going to try to make a fictional gun realistic, you might as well just add a real gun or the closest real-life counterpart to the fictional gun in question. On the topic of fictional and semi-fictional weapons, there's quite a few AK-12 variants within the game. One is real, formerly two, whereas the others are either partially or completely made up. Since I'm making this video solely because of the AK-12BR change, I'll be focusing only on AK-12 variants. Anyway, the number of AK-12 variants in Phantom Forces adds up to a grand total of 6. The AK-12, AKU-12, AK-12C, AK-12BR, DBD-12, and RPK-12. This number goes up to 9 if we count removed weapons like the AK-15, the scrapped PPK-12, and the SVK-12E. I think you can already tell which ones are the real guns among all of these. Let's start off with the AK-12. It is one of the newer AK variants, with its project starting in 2011 to replace the AK-74M and the AK-100 series of rifles. The AK-12 comes in different variants, in the form of assault rifle, carbine, battle rifle, and light machine gun. As you might have guessed, some of them come in different calibers other than the standard 545 x 39 that the AK-12 uses. The most common calibers used by AK-12 variants are the aforementioned 545 x 39 used by guns like the AK-12 itself, the AK-12K, and RPK-16. 7.62x39, used by the AK-15 and AK-15K. 556x45 NATO, used by the AK-19. And finally, 7.62x51 NATO, or 308 Winchester, used by the AK-308. The next gun on the list is the AKU-12. The wiki is a bit misleading here, since even though it's fictional in terms of how it's modeled and how it's called, you can effectively turn this into a real gun with the use of attachments. If you equip full suck and long barrel, realistically speaking, you just got yourself an AK-12K, which, unsurprisingly, is a carbine variant of the AK-12, or, to put it even more simply, an AK-12 with a short barrel. Now, that would make either the AKU-12 itself, or the short barrel attachment on the AK-12, redundant. Realistically speaking, to avoid redundancy they could either get rid of the AKU-12 altogether and make the short barrel attachment on the AK-12 rename it to AK-12K, or get rid of the short barrel on the AK-12 and turn the AKU-12 into the AK-12K by remodeling it with the long barrel and the full stock by default. Also, short barrel on the AKU-12 is more than likely made up. Ah, and now could I forget to talk about the PPK-12 conversion on it, but like, do I even need to say anything? I don't think there have ever been plans to fit MP5 mags in the receiver of an AK-12. Realistically speaking, this would never make it past the drawing board. 
Up next, the AK-12C. You'd be surprised if I told you that this gun is not entirely made up. Although there is no AK-12C designation, this weapon actually exists in real life. The model in game is the AK-15K, which, again, rather unsurprisingly, is a carbine variant of the AK-15, which in turn is an AK-12 that's chambered in 7.62x39. The long barrel attachment would turn it into the AK-15, whereas the short barrel is more than likely fictional. As for the 9x39mm conversion that it has, the closest thing that I could find is the AK-9. I found very little information about this gun, since apparently it was a planned version that never made it past the paper. Realistically speaking, they could rename the gun to AK-15K and remove the short barrel on it, it's more than likely fictional. And there is no carbine variant of the AK-15K. As for the AK-9 conversion, they could either remove it entirely due to it being a paper weapon, or make it into an actual new gun if they wanted to keep it in the game. The next variant on the list is the AK-12BR. Unlike the AK-12C, this gun is entirely fictional. This thing right here, there is no way it is making it past the drawing board. There have never been and there aren't any plans to fit the Mosin's cartridge, a full powered caliber may I add, into an AK-12. Moreover, the balanced recoil system that it supposedly utilizes has never been installed on an AK-12. The closest real-life counterpart to it is the AK-308, and even then they don't even remotely look similar. The AK-12BR has also access to two conversions that are also more than likely fictional, 7.62x39 and 12.7x55STS-130. As for the former, you could say that it's essentially a beefed-up AK-15, if it wasn't for the fact that the AK-15 does not use 50 round drum mags. As for the latter, I don't think I need to elaborate, do I? The closest thing to it, realistically speaking, is the SH AK-12, but then again, they don't even remotely look similar. As I stated previously, if they really want to make this fictional gun realistic, they might as well just replace the AK-12BR with the AK-308. The next gun on the list is the DBV-12. Like the AK-12C, this gun is not entirely fictional, because although there is no DBV-12 designation, this weapon exists. Sort of. The in-game model is based off of the AK-1276, a prototype shotgun developed from the AK-12. It was announced back in 2013, but never made it past the drawing board. As for the two conversions that it has, it's a little bit of a different story. Just like most pre-production AK-12 variants, they do exist in the form of concepts, but these were ultimately scrapped. Moreover, there is no actual nor physical proof of their existence. Realistically speaking, they could just rename the DBV to AK-1276 and and remove the conversions altogether due to them being paper weapons. Or, if they really wanted to keep them in the game, they could rename them to AK-12-30-06 and AK-12-410 respectively. Now, the RPK-12. Like the DBV and AK-12C, this is not entirely fictional. Again, while there is no RPK-12 designation, this weapon sort of exists. Like the variants of the AK-1276, it exists in the form of a photoshopped mock-up. The closest real-life counterpart to it is the RPK-16, a light machine gun developed from the AK-12 that was first revealed in 2016. As for the 7.62x39 conversion that it has, it's more than likely fictional. Realistically speaking, they could rename the gun to RPK-16 and remove the 7.62x39 conversion entirely because of redundancy. Like, come on now, we already have the actual RPK in the game. Now, the AK-15. I honestly don't remember why they scrapped it in the community testing environment, but even then, it's been 7 years since it closed, I literally don't remember anything. I know this is going to sound weird, but I would have preferred to have this in the game rather than the semi-fictional AK-12C that we currently have. The last gun on the list 
is the SVK-12E. The SVK-12 is supposedly a DMR concept which is supposedly developed from the 2012 prototype of the AK-12. It's essentially the same ordeal as the AK-12BR, since, again, there have never been and there aren't any plans to fit 762x54R in the AK-12. The closest real-life counterpart to it is the Chukabin sniper rifle, also known as the SVCH, a DMR first revealed in 2016. However, when the gun was first revealed, it was called SVK. It was only designated SVCH in 2017 to match the name of the designer, that is, Chukabin, not Kalashnikov. To be more specific, the SVK-12E shares similarities with the SVCH-54, which is a variant of the SVCH that shoots 7.62x54R. The SVK-12E was available for a short while in the test place around 4 years ago, before it was removed completely, never to be seen again. Yes, I know that the SVK-12E in the game was chambered in 7.62x51, and the closest real-life counterpart to it would be, again, the AK-308, but then again, they don't look even remotely similar. Might be crazy what I'm about to say, but Phantom Forces actually sort of had an AK-19 within it. Some of you might remember that the AK-12 had a 556x45 conversion, and what do you get when you put 556 in the AK-12? You get the AK-19. Now, why was it removed? I have no clue, ask them. Realistically speaking, if they wanted to add an AK-19, they could make it into a new gun. If you're wondering, why not simply add it back to the AK-12? It's because, when we talked about the AKU-12, the presence of the short barrel on the AK-12 and the theoretical AK-12K caused redundancy. Therefore, I suggested to either remove the AKU-12 entirely and make the short barrel turn the AK-12 into the AK-12K, or remove the short barrel on the AK-12 and remodel the AK-12. AKU-12 into the AK-12K. Anyway, this AK-19 would boast the same stats as the old AK-12 with 5.56, therefore effectively being an M4A1 sight grade with slightly better 3-hit kill range and slightly worse fire rate. A short barrel would turn it into the AK-19 compact. Now, did I just rant for several minutes about the fictional AK-12 variants of Phantom Forces because one of them received a controversial change that neither I nor most of the community like? Yes sir! The main point I'm trying to make with this video is that fictional guns can't just be changed for realism. That's simply not a valid justification. Hell, even a kindergartner could take that for granted. In fact, given their status as fictional, every bit of information about their performance and ballistics is mere speculation. As I said previously, if they really wanted to change a fictional gun to make it realistic, they might as well just either remove the gun altogether, or change it into the closest real-life counterpart to that gun. And that's pretty much it for this video. Keep in mind that this is just my opinion on the situation, so feel free to disagree. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about this all, and as customary, I'll catch you fellas in the next video.